In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a model of a heat pump in S1 Plus. Before going into the process modeling, uh, just a clarification. I am assuming that you already know what heat pump is and you are just here to see how we can model it or how we can do the process simulation for heat and mass balance for heat pumps here. And also I will not uh, use a proper industrial optimized parameters here. So those parameters are just random which I will use there to just give you an idea. And we'll start a new file in Aspen Plus as you can see here and we will select the component. There can be different components that can be used for heat pump. Uh, for this purpose I am using R1233 ZT. And then you need to select the method, which is a little bit tricky. If uh, I'm using a def prop method, and if you do not know which method to use, you can always go to the methods assistant, and there you can select component type or process type. We know the component type, which is refrigerants. And it shows ref pro property method is an ideal method there so we can use that and green shows uh, blue shows it is fine so we go to the simulation environment from here and heat pump has four main components evaporator condenser compressor and expansion valve we'll start with evaporator We'll use simple heater here. We'll name stream zero one and outlet stream zero two. Uh, pressure I am selecting one point two bar. Temperature I am selecting it. 22 degrees centigrade and mass flow rate of 1 kilogram per second and mass fraction here then As it is a vaporator, so you need to change the flash specification type from temperature to vapor fraction to 1 and pressure. You can mention 1.2 if you mention a minus 0.1, it means it is a giving a pressure drop of minus 0.1 bar here. And you can run and see if your model is running fine till now. Yes, no warnings and errors. We can go ahead. Now we have to add a compressor. We'll go to the pressure changes and add compressor here. We name it as zero three your stream and as i mentioned earlier these are not optimized parameters so i am just compressing it to 28 bar because i need a temperature of more than 150 degrees centigrade and i choose isentropic compression efficiencies if you don't mention then default efficiencies in s plus are 72 percent for both isentropic and mechanical but I am mentioning it to 85% here and for mechanical little bit higher 98% and again you can run and see your model gives an error so we can see which error it is giving It can find a temperature for isentropic compression uh, because there is existence of liquid phase. 
so in the one base two we can just go to the convergence section and we can change the valid phases to vapor liquid but there is an another method also which i can show you later and now you run it again and again it is giving an error we can check cannot find temperature for isentropic compressor turbine error entropy let's reset it and then rerun it We can in change the entropy balance from iterative to direct. Yes, that is fine, and we can check the temperature. Yep, it is working fine, 151 degrees centigrade. And now we need to utilize this heat, and we are using condenser again. We will use the heater. And I will name it condenser. And new stream will be S04. And condenser is condensing the vapor. So we will change the flash specification vapor fraction to zero opposite of evaporator and pressure drop minus 0 0.1 again reset the simulation and run it again so we are getting 18,000 calorie per second we will change it to megawatt later but work is in megawatt and now we will have to close the cycle by using a valve expander and S05 and in expander we are now returning back to outlet pressure of 1.2 bar and again if you run it yes now we are again back to temperature of 23 so uh, if you want to make a whole recycle so I will delete the stream 5 and I will collect the stream 01 with expander and I will go to the flow sheet options oh. Uh, sorry to the convergence section and I'll go to the tier stream and we will select S01 as tier for recycling and now we will run it and hopefully it will not give any errors yes that's fine so we are utilizing a 23 100 calorie per second of heat and producing a useful heat of 18,000 calorie per second by using 67 kilowatt power. We can change the units here to SI. Yes, so 67 kilowatt of power is required to produce 75 kilowatt of condensation and which will give a coefficient of performance of 1.2 to 1.3 or a little bit less than that so come back to the problem uh, where there was an error in compression because there was a two phases present because in evaporation we are just evaporating the fluid to saturated vapor 
uh, but for compression it needs a superheated vapor so ideal case is to add another heater as a superheater and connect this here and I will now name this to S02B so that we won't disturb the needs later and I will change the degree of superheating to only 2 Kelvin and pressure drop let's assume for 0 just for the sake of it and now for convergence let's change back the entropy to iterative okay that error is present i think that is because of the older version of s plus i have 11 if you use the later one it will not give an error so let's choose a direct and here where it faces only vapor see now compression is not giving an error so 17.5 kilowatt of work is required to provide 28.6 kilowatt of heat and you cannot change different parameters you can change the pressure you can change total flow rate you can change the flow rate you can add another compression here if you want to do a multi-stage compression or you can also increase the coefficient of performance by adding another heater here uh, because we are just utilizing heat in condensation and there is still quite a large amount of heat is present here uh, approximately 150 degree centigrade which can be utilized in terms of hot water it depends on their need so uh, this is a very simple model of heat pump if you have any question write them in comments i will try to answer them and if you have any suggestion for different process models that i can make it for you and i can give a tutorial i can also happy to help there and if you like this video you can subscribe i will try to put more videos whenever i get the time till then bye